Welcome back. Leaders in one of North Alabama's largest cities are redrawing district lines to keep up with the booming population there. Yeah, 48 Sarah Grace Kennedy joins us live in studio to tell us about the plans to redraw these district lines in Athens. And yeah, this is very much a growing city. Sarah Grace, you spoke with city leaders about the process and they say the process has already started. Growing pains are causing Athens leaders to redraw district lines in order to evenly distribute the voice of its residents. The process will make sure the population is roughly equal in all five districts. The process must be complete in time for the next municipal election in August 2025. City leaders are relying on 2020 census data to make the changes. District 2 in Eastern Athens has experienced the most growth, followed by District 1, which is in the city center and to the east. City Attorney Shane Black says the coming changes will make sure one person's vote doesn't carry more weight than another. So every few years we've got to go back and look at our districts to make sure that we are meeting that standard and also to make sure that there's, there's there's no one that's discriminated against as how they're positioned within these districts. Athens Mayor Ronnie Marks explained no district can be more than 10 percent larger than another. One of the districts in our current map because of growth was 27 percent, so we needed to make adjustments. We've got each of our districts in the uh, proposed map. Uh, within about 7% of each other. Matter of fact, I think it's 6.8%. Uh, so again, we tried to get the boundary lines and representation of each of our citizens by our city council members. If you have a comment or a question about the redistricting proposal, you can attend an upcoming public hearing at City Hall on May 13th. Sarah Grace Kennedy, 48 on your side.